Hey guys, what's going on? It's that Home Theater Dude back with a brand new episode for you today. Really, really excited to tackle this project. This is number two in the playlist for the build series. Now, you guys already saw electrical. You guys are, cat's already out of the bag. You guys have seen the speakers that we're using in here. So if you're using any type of speaker behind your screen, you're probably gonna need to build out a baffle wall. If you wanna do it properly, there's typically some relief that needs to be you know, from the front of the speaker to the screen. Some don't necessarily need that, but you know, whatever it is, we're building out a baffle wall. We're creating that uh, today. So that's gonna be the idea of today's video. Now, one other thing I did wanna to talk to you guys about, I did start a brand new home theater company. So anything that I've done for you guys before, whether it be designing home theaters, selling you gear or in installations, please don't hes hesitate to reach out, contact me. It's called Home Theater Experience. I'll leave it down in the description. You guys have heard the rest, experience the best. So that's the tagline. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get better at saying it over time, but super excited to, to start that as well as you know bring all this content to you guys. It's so much fun and I just can't wait to, to show you guys what we have in store it just it's it's just crazy it's gonna be a really cool process and really fun journey so that's all i got let's let's go ahead and jump into the video all right guys first and foremost we're going to be ripping out this front area building it out a little bit so that we can have room for these bad boys back here i don't want to show you just yet but uh i'm gonna go ahead and get to work on that and update you as we do it. Catch you in a minute. All right guys, check this out. Let's uh, just show you what's going on in the space. So this is basically what I have to work with. <laughs> open to the downstairs, completely not ideal. This open over here, again, not ideal. So the this is serving a couple different purposes over here. Um, I have kids and I don't want them uh, falling down the stairs. So this helps prevent that from happening. Uh, I figured might as well just put it over here then actually the entrance. Um, over here, uh, maybe it should have been over here. Who knows, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. But we have the walls covered up, these windows are covered up so there's no light coming through. Now we're doing the door and then we're gonna be framing in the front. So pop back in just a minute and you guys just got a sneak peek of the sub right here. Go, go. All right, guys, let's check this out. First day in the books. Looks like the front stage is going in. Uh, we have some of the, the truss over here just mocked up. The wall is already in there as well, as you guys have been paying attention to. I've oh, got my little dude over there. So this is a 44 inch opening and we're putting a 32 inch door in there. Um, this is a standard size door. And on the other side of this, we have the attic and then just a little um, accessory, little closet place for the linens. Here were win windows, whoa, almost tripped. Um, but this is basically to mask all the light coming in here and, and so that it doesn't bake the screen and the, the amplifiers and stuff back there. So we're doing our best to insulate that, but I think we're gonna check back in in a minute. Well, all right guys, it looks like uh, this is the end of the result for the front stage, right? Um, excuse the lighting, right? I'm just still just using the overhead lighting. We're gonna be changing out a lot of the stuff in here. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff with lighting. So that's one of my main focuses with this new, this new project. I don't want things done traditionally how you know most people do home theaters. So we're trying something a little different and this lends into that as well. So in the front, you will see that we have some of the um, Owens Corning um, insulation put over there. Now the rest of that is still in the garage. So what I wanna do is basically pull the stuff off, put that excess stuff in there so that we have as much insulation as possible. These are exterior windows and this is east facing. So whenever the sun goes over and you have those long summers, you know, you will have a lot of sunlight coming through there. I'm not worried about sunlight per se. Um, that's not my main concern. It's just that heat in Texas is pretty bad. So I wanna make sure that the speakers are protected as well as the screen so it doesn't warp and things like that but that'll be coming in a, a little bit later on. But let me just show you the, the, the end result here. It looks like this is some super sturdy, heavy stuff. I didn't get to get a lot of it recorded because uh, the person who installed it, they are, uh, 
they're happy with the amount of, of advertising that, that we've done together. So um, other, otherwise, I would have recorded the entire thing and showed you guys the process. You guys know I like to do that. But this thing is super beefy, super sturdy, super heavy. It's already been fastened down below. And then we did this specifically to get this thing mocked up. We have the Ascendo uh, Black Swans. We have, uh, these are the, uh, the reference Brilliant versions too. So they have the, the four inch uh, compression driver, which I am just extremely excited about. I can't wait to hear these things. But uh, we have one here, we have less center, it's still in one of these, two of these boxes, and then the right. So this was made just to figure out exactly how far into the wall or how far out of the wall it's gonna be poking, and then figure out left and right translation on how these things will actually fit in there. We did a lot of measurements before, tons of math, tons of everything, just to double check, triple check, quadruple check to make sure that this stuff was done right. So even then the slack and tolerances on the back of them, um, to, just to make sure that these things hang freely and that the speak ons and the power on or the, the power cons um, all connect without any undue slack or, or tension. So um, we still have to do some drywall repair that's coming a little bit later on, but it looks like all this stuff's taken care of. Even the next step is gonna be wiring. So I've even started doing some of that. I've got the plugs already, you guys won't be able to see this because it's probably zoomed out pretty good, but I already have the 240 plugs on there ready to go. So these are the 240 plugs and then they're already uh, connected with the respective uh, diagram like I was telling you guys downstairs. And then last thing, I have my favorite uh, right now, as you guys know, world's best cabling, still, still enjoy these things, still rocking them. You guys can get these things on Amazon. These guys are made of the Canar and now they're made of Neutrik and not, um, Amphenol connectors, so it's a little bit different in the connectors, but still star quad type of design with the XLR cabling. And I think that's pretty much gonna get us caught up to where we're at right now. I'm freaking excited. I'm out of breath because I'm just so pumped up about this. You guys don't even know. I've just been just dreaming of this thing for so long. And again, this is still a work in progress. It's not done yet. You know, we, we still have a lot of work to do. The screen is on its way, should be here Thursday. Uh, we already have the Guilford of Maine for the fronts. We already have the material. We have 10 yards already for that as well. And if you guys are wondering, black is back in stock. So that thing was out. So I thought that I'd have to compromise and get someone else. But it uh, looks like Guilford's back in stock with the black, the FR701, I think it is. Um, but so amped, so pumped. I think next stage is to get those panels, get this thing walled off, see if we can get some mass back here, make that uh, kind of cavity less cavernous so that it doesn't, you know, uh, have standing waves in there and everything. And I really want to make this a reference grade theater. This is some very, very high quality stuff and I want to show it off in the best top, uh, type of scenario possible. But I think that's it for now. We will pop back in in just a little longer. I have some stuff to unbox, let you guys know the specs behind. You guys already see the sneak peek behind me, but you guys will see more of that in detail. I wanted to do these things in stages. <sighs> The kids are finally out of the house, so this is fun, you know, recording again. But I don't get this very often, so I have to make make a uh, make sunshine while while I can. But that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.